Hey guys, Jason. And a lot of people have been emailing me. There's been a lot of news in the script coin community about these ASIC miners. I just did a video talking about you know how Litecoin has seen a triple increase in their hash rate. You know, Dogecoin is now seeing a hundred uh, giga hashes a second, which is crazy. You know, a lot of news coming out, and people are asking me, you know, Jason, what's going on? And I, my last video kind of covered that. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go watch that, or it's in my channel. But I want to talk about people that ask me about buying ASIC miners. I had when I used to do Bitcoin videos, and I still do, but I had a lot of people asking me about you know buying ASIC miners for Bitcoin. And I, a lot of people I told you know don't get into Butterfly Labs first of all, uh, big scam. <laughs> and um, then you know if you're going to get into it, look at the return on investment. Well, what happened is when people were getting into Bitcoin mining, the hash rate was already so exponentially increasing over and over that you weren't going to. It was going to take you you know at current if the hash rate took current. It was going to take you three or four months to, to make a return on investment. And then even after that, you got to calculate into the hash rate expanding every 14 days dramatically, right? So people are asking me, Jason, you know, they're saying, Jason, should I buy an ASIC miner? Should I wait? What's going on? Should I wait for the prices to decrease? And I really want to stress this, and I hope this gets home for you guys. I hope this breaks down evenly and, and explains it, right? Because ASIC for script started pre-ordering around April. Some did it earlier, but that's when some of the serious ones went through. We started to see ASICs for script kind of coming out around June. I know some of the people that bought a whole bunch got them in June. Um, June, the middle of June, about June fifteenth, seemed to be when a lot of the common people were able to buy these script coins. Or I mean, they, they had them on pre-order, they had bought them, but for them to get them to their door and get them up and mining. Um, I myself got mine started around July, beginning of July, about July first, June thirtieth, around that range. And you know, a lot of people are asking, you know, price range. Should I wait? And I want to break this down. If you wait now, you're going to have a financial disincentive. We're in this grace period right now, and this is not a promotion. This is just the you know, numbers. People that bought up these ASICs early, you know, like and then started getting them in June, are the best possible scenario. They're making a lot of bank, right? <laughs> a lot of bank. But now you might say, well, Jason, it's July. Is it too late? It, well, it's only been about a month, about two weeks since the, you know. The common people, or the the average amount of miners, have been getting these ASICs, and I, and I know people are going to say, "Well, Jason, I had a miner, you know, June 8th or June 9th or June 3rd." Yes, but not as many people had them around that date. So you might be saying, "Okay, okay, okay, I understand this, Jason. I understand the hash right now. Explain to me, is it too late to buy these ASIC coins, or not ASIC coins? These ASIC miners? I don't think it's too late. I think if you wait till the end of August, I think it probably will be too late. I think we'll see that exponential increase like we saw with Bitcoin." But I think, like I was getting ready to talk about a couple seconds ago, you have this grace period between you know the middle of June to probably about the end of July when you can buy these ASICs. After that point, unless you're willing to put you know serious bank or a lot of money into these things, you're not going to get a good return on investment, and it, it's slowly dwindling away. So you know, I have a very iffy thing, like because I know a lot of, you know, mining is a more difficult than just buying coins and. I kind of stray people away from doing that unless they're you know really hardcore, unless they really want to get into you know mining these coins and they're really really um, interested, like I am. But when I gave this advice about Bitcoin, people you know would say, oh well yeah I don't really care, I want to buy one of these things. So I want to kind of give that advice. If you're going to buy, if you don't care about my advice, if you want to buy, this is the time to buy between you know past June fifteenth ish, which is now gone, which is like July now, right? But really to about the end of July, the middle of August is about the ending of the period they want to buy. And you say, well, what price is that really equivalent to? Around anything less than about $600, and really probably under 1000 depending on how much hash rate gets added in the next, you know, four weeks, six months. Or not four weeks, six weeks, not six months. <laughs> That's a long time, right? That's like the end of the year. Going to be crazy hash rate yet in December. That's your grace period. That's when you can buy it and, you know... I know it's going to be more expensive. I know people are saying, well, Jason, like you yourself bought a GAW miner, and they get cheaper each week, and, and they do. Um, they're kind of getting, they're kind of flatlining price now, which is kind of crazy. But if you're going to mine or buy, buy now because you don't want to get caught up in the people that got caught up with Bitcoin, where literally they bought, you know, a USB miner and never made a profit. They lost, you know, 50% of the cost of they paid for the device. So if you're going to buy, even if, even if you disagree, and I'm telling you, if you're not really into mining, don't get a miner. But if you're going to anyway, if you're going to disregard my advice, buy it within the next, you know, three weeks, four weeks. Don't wait till the end of December. Don't wait till you know October or September range when you're not going to make a return. Because the only way to make a return is to literally buy like a data center and throw a whole bunch of miners in, like we have nowadays with Bitcoin. Anyway, I know this was kind of a long video, but 
it just it gets to me because I try to give my audience good advice. And like in my Bitcoin videos, I saw people didn't pay attention to my advice. And they would ask me, well, okay, I'm going to buy ASIC anyway. What kind should I buy? And so I'm going to give you as an alternative. If you, no matter what, want to buy an ASIC uh, miner, that's your alternative. Buy within the next four weeks or you know five weeks. Don't get screwed. Don't let the mining hash rate um, pull the cover over your eyes and literally just make it so you can never make a profit. Unless you're one of those you know crazy people like me that want to have a piece of history, it's really no point of buying an ASIC miner after you know you know six weeks maximum because of the fact that unless you're gonna go out and buy like you're adding a new room to your house and you're like I'm gonna build this huge big ASIC miner that's gonna mine like 30 giga hashes I'm gonna be the biggest miner on the block well then you're fine but <laughs> most people aren't that way most people don't have that kind of capital and the truth of being is if you're gonna buy buy here recently or not if you haven't bought already buy soon <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Jason Shamaful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I really don't care. Have a great day.